Let's get more now from Ted Simon. He is one of Amanda Knox's lawyers and joins us exclusively. Mr. Simon, good morning. Good morning to you. Here we have a statement from a child murderer. What makes you think that the court hearing Amanda's appeal will put any stock in it? Uh, Mario Lessie's recorded statement that Rudy Gaudet told him Amanda Knox and Rafael Selecito were not present at the time of the tragic murder of Meredith Kircher is both significant and supportive that this was a wrongful conviction. You know, this statement understandably and clearly corroborates the unequivocal fact that there was no forensic evidence of any kind of Amanda Knox found in the room where Meredith Kircher was found or on her person. This critically, uh, uh, this, this critical uh, statement should be taken in combination with all the other evidence. You know, uh, Rudy Gaudet, this is not the first time he's made this statement. Uh, he has said this before. In fact, he said it when he fled uh, Italy for Germany at about the time of this tragic event. The Italian authorities were monitoring his communications, and back then he said the same thing, that Amanda and Raphael were not present. So those prior statements, in combination with the unequivocal fact that the forensic evidence clearly demonstrates that Amanda Knox was not present uh, at, uh, in the room at the time when um, Meredith Kircher was killed, taken together, uh, it's very significant. I have to bring up, Mr. Simon, the 427-page jury opinion that was just released. In it, the jury specifically cites as a reason why they convicted Amanda the forensic evidence. They talk about Amanda's DNA on the knife, her footprints found at the scene, traces of her blood mixed with Meredith's in the bathroom. Well, that, that's, how that's you, actually... How will you address all of that in your Well, appeal? that's actually incorrect because with that's respect to... That's what they to, said. Well, with, well, not exactly. What they said with regard to the knife, uh, they were competing experts. And this was not the... There was a speck of purported DNA on the blade of Meredith Kircher. But it was not the DNA testing that we've come to know that convicts the guilty and, and exonerates the innocent. Rather, it was known as lo low copy number testing, which is a form of testing that's been held to be wholly and unbelievably unreliable. And that was what was done there. The court's opinion of the motivation is encouraging in many other respects because it rejected the prosecution's ever-changing theories uh, of the case, concluding there was no planning, there was no premeditation, and that this was not the result of uh, any resentment. In fact, the motivation uh, contains internal inconsistencies, and it's based on conjecture and unproven facts. So we're actually encouraged by, the by that. As well as your other statement, there was no mixed blood. Rather, there was some specks of Meredith Kircher's blood found in a common bathroom used by uh, Amanda Knox. So it's not unusual to find some of her DNA in the bathroom. It would be no different if I, uh, permit me, were, were in your bathroom and I accidentally bled in there, we would find my blood mixed with your DNA. That is very uh, uh, unsig insignificant. All right. Well, the jury disagreed with you. Let, let's see what the appeals court believes. Ted Simon, well, thank you, sir. You're welcome.